traders, this is a Euro session FTSE short setup. Uh, what I did was I had all this marked up. You can see the little blue line there, that's my entry. Uh, basically, this was the overnight range. This daily pivot represented quite you know, a key line in the sand, as you can see from here and here. So I just shorted right on that little bounce in the open and currently 15 points up okay so i'll be talking about this setup in the room and um, showing you how to try and get in on these moves all right i will pause this and come back to you later hello traders and welcome you join me at a time when i'm just looking at the big picture as we get into the end of the week uh, we're well into in the midsummer, so I'm just looking at the bigger picture just to see where the potential next move is. So this is the Dow on the weekly. I'll just look at the, a few main charts um, on non-farm payroll on independent and independent day last Friday. We may have put it on the top at 70-80 points over the 17,000 number. Markets quite often just tip over the big numbers. And so, yeah, if we are potentially going to sell at this level, we need to at least close under 850 tomorrow. Now we've done this before. We've clouded, you know, you know a big box from uh, literally right through June, but we still broke higher. So, you know, let, let's just see where we close. But I, in the meantime, I am beginning to you know, look for shorts at these higher levels. I don't want to short round up this level here. What I would like to do is short closer to the 17,000 level. Sit in a September contract on the short side and then see if that starts to pan out. At the moment, you can see we are well and truly in, still in a clear up channel. So I don't want to pick a top because it's very, very costly to try and pick a top. What I do want to do is see if this market is going to um, give up its position and distribute. So we see a distribution pattern. Okay, if if we have put in a top, then I would start to put in the fibs on these levels and then start to look for at least 16,400 and ultimately the 50 EMA and so on and then if we really start to roll down then look at these fib extensions but in the meantime you know, like I said I'm not wanting to pick a top we are still firmly in an uptrend and only when you know, I get the opportunity to short higher up will I test the market and see if that generates results. Let's do the same for, in the meantime, let's look at the daily, the drill down to the daily. So we are two and a half hours off the close. You can see I've marked off three levels on this Dow daily chart. So we need to close above 9.30 today if that is going to. Uh, potentially generate a short position into Friday. If we close here, for example, this to me would be a spinning top. And spinning tops tend to generate a downdraft, tend to create um, a suggestion that the market has had enough, and any break of that level there would have that potentially testing the lows and potentially rolling over. But like I said, you know, I don't want to get heavily short here because if we break the highs, we could run up to 17 and a half. Okay, so my plan is to see where we close today, look to see if we can test any one of these areas up here into tomorrow. And I'll go into the weekend with a short position in the September contract if it looks as if we are going to fail at this level up here. Okay, so ideally I would want to get short some closer to the 17,000 mark. So 
the 980 17,000 mark if it is looking weak intraday for swing trading it I would stand aside for the moment and then we need to um, assess where we close today okay let's do the same for the euro because the euro is to me very very interesting this is a daily so we have had this big sell bumped into this resistance double bottoms ran up into this resistance now we're potentially fading this 50 and a potentially going to break down so again if we get a move into sort of 620 tomorrow I will short 650 will be my stop and I'd like to see if we can close under 136 to see if we at least start to attack 135 look at the weekly plan and you can see we are yeah, come under 135 and we are potentially in trouble and could come and break or at the very least well to test this trend line will be 135 to break it would could see us coming right the way down here at the moment again I don't want to get heavily short this market I don't want to get it in my head I don't want to get a fixed picture in my head that the euro is going to short. What I do want to do is pick my spot. So try and get short higher up around about the 620, 640 area. Get a stop in place above this week's highs and then see if it rolls over. So I want, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to pick a top, I want a low risk, high reward entry. And if it fails, then I would stand aside and then wait to see if we can climb higher but the reason why I like the euro on the short side is that is a, a, um, a big red bar sell bar Yet last week all we're doing is pulling into that sell bar and selling so if we now if I can get short a little higher up and that breaks then I am potentially in some sort of run there and markets come down two and a half or three times faster than go up so we could see a swift move if that is to um, sell on the other hand for the bulls if we hold that and end up with um, an inverted hammer what I call a stop bar well, when they come down to the test the low and then ping up back into this area here okay so that this this I'm box, effectively boxing this area here and whichever way we come out of that I think is the direction for potentially a month or two at least and if we do close on the 135 that could be the end of this trend and we could who knows even roll all the right way back down to much lower levels but like I said I do not want to get fixed in my head on the short side. Alright, so I have recorded a trade on the FTSE. Unfortunately, I forgot to finish it, so uh, I'll show you the beginning. Then, um, but effectively, I shorted. Where did I short? Uh, it's the five minute chart. Yeah, I shorted literally at the open. Um, we ran into that resistance. I shorted up there got an immediate move to the downside took it off waited till the data came out the data came out here it was very negative and so we sold off so I got that position and then I got that position okay so I did very well and um, hit my target okay so I'll show you that video and then uh, this is what we will be doing in the room more and more just marking off these areas and then looking for them to to fail and retest. Okay, I hope that helps and I will see you at the next update.